second of the green line is up and running right now. It is the first time a new branch has opened on the T since the 1980s. As WBZ's Christina Hager explains, it's just the beginning of changes for the trolleys. Three, cut. Woo! After the ribbon fell at Somerville's new Union Square MBTA stop, Governor Charlie Baker boarded a train, testing out the ride to the next new stop, the one in Cambridge, Lechmere. A train busting through that ribbon. I was switching constantly at North Station, so this way you just get on and you go. For residents in both communities, it's a game changer. This project is just absolutely thrilling. Public transit that is going to connect folks to jobs, to food, to health care. Crews in hard hats crowded a news conference to celebrate this project state officials promised to do decades ago as part of the big dig. Somerville's former mayor says it's been a bumpy ride, repeatedly delayed and even canceled. Unfortunately, as a mayor, I like the officials, we attend a lot of services, wakes. I went more, to more wakes for the Green Line than anything else in my life in the last 18 years. And now, finally. We've been talking about it uh, for, what, 10 whatever plus years, so I'm glad it's finally open. Very interested in what ridership looks like. We've been running demonstration service for a number of weeks, so we're very confident in how this runs. There is a second part of this project. Five more new future stops still in the works that will continue up to Medford at Tufts University. They were set to go online this summer, but this morning the T's general manager said there is no hard date. In Cambridge, Christina Hager, WBZ News. There has